Let's do something really wholesome. Close your eyes and I want you to just picture your absolute 10 out of 10 girl. Imagine she is shaped and looks exactly just perfect for you. That when you get, like, when you hold eye contact with her, your dick gets hard. And now imagine that she is actually also a wife quality girl. She's also lovely. She has those characteristics that you've been looking for. She's so high quality, in fact, that other men want her. Other men who might be further than you in the competition of men. Other men who might be more successful than you, who might make more money than you do, who might have a better character than you, who might be better at speaking to a girl, flirting, holding her eye contact. So how is she yours then? You want her so badly because she's so high quality, but then so do I. And the truth is, you can't compete with me. For our first date, for my first date with your future wife, I'll text her and say, let's go to a different country. Let's go to Santorini in Greece. Let's go to Bali for our first date. And you might think, oh, well, you know, yeah, yeah, but money's not going to attract her, but, but I'm charming as well. I've, I've watched the same dating advice videos that you have. I've read the same spiritual loving books that you have. So I'm charming as well. I'm attractive. I can make her wet just by talking to her deeply into her eyes. So how would you compete? I know that I sound like an asshole, but how would you compete against me in this situation here? How would you compete against all the other guys who want your future girl? Because you must get ready for this right now. Now, I sound like a massive dick in this video, but what I'm trying to do is make it clear to you that this is a competition and that other men want what you have, not just with women, but with resources, lifestyle, friends, status, recognition, everything. How will you compete against the other guy, especially if you're still relatively new to this journey? I've been on self-improvement. I've been improving myself and working on business for over four years now. And a part of those four years, you weren't you weren't even aware that this was a thing. I've been in the gym for 10 years. So I was growing my business over the last four years whilst you still had a porn addiction. And you think you're going to compete. Suddenly that dream that you have of your future wife who's so beautiful. You're probably not going to be able to attract her if things keep going this, the way that they are right now. Because what percentage are you really living to your potential right now? When you think of all those bad habits you've been doing, the, that quick bit of chocolate that you eat, the few little bits of scrolling on Instagram, porn every now and then is not that bad, especially because it increases your testosterone. Are you at 80% of your potential? Are you working to 80%? Probably not. Probably more like 60, 70, right? So you should feel bad. You should feel anxious. You should feel competitive don't you want to go and secure this woman for yourself instead of letting another guy take over her the truth is the pussies have already clicked off this video because there isn't all those edits that i'm used to in my vids we're talking about something too dark for most people so they're they're getting a bit scared and thinking yep misogyny whatever oh yeah yeah hamza's gone crazy I see that in the comments when I make a video like this, like loads of guys comment it. And I just think like, this isn't being crazy. This is actually being sane. This is what's happening in the, like in the world. Your future wife right now, today is getting a DM from another guy who's already more established because he got onto this path before you did. That's not crazy. Oh, Hamza's another wild take. That's not wild to say. It's the fucking truth. Anyone who's like even a little bit aware of what the dating scene is like knows that's the truth. If, if she's attractive, if she's a high quality woman, she's incredibly desirable. So of course, all the men desire her. The reason why it makes you feel uncomfortable is because you know that you are weak. Not just with where you are at, but your rate of growth, how much you sacrifice every single day for your goals. That's why you feel like oddly kind of disgusted and sad and agitated and fearful right now. 
Because if you were living to 100% of your potential, imagine every day you were checking every box, you were living the life you were supposed to, you were making all of the decisions you were supposed to. If every day you made those decisions, you would be watching this video with confidence. You would be watching this video with sheer fucking confidence, knowing that you're going to get her, knowing that you might have already gotten her. The reason why you feel so insecure watching this is because you know that you're going to miss out on what may be the most beautiful relationship that you could have because you've been slacking right now. Because you keep coping, you keep thinking to yourself like, oh, well, you know, Hamza's too serious with self-improvements. Like, one hour of video games won't be that bad. You've got a bad habit right now that you're thinking of. I know it for a fact that you're thinking like, why don't I just fucking stop it? And that Jeffrey part of your brain keeps convincing you that it's fine. There's a guy who doesn't have that part of his brain. There's a guy who doesn't allow that, that addiction to still rule him, who's sober from the thing that you're addicted to. And he's making just 2% faster progress than you. But when that compounds year and year and year, he looks so different to you. It's the difference between you being stuck at like 14% body fat to the guy who's got that shredded like six pack, 10, 11, 12%. And that's a small thing. You know, the, the, the girl who chews the guy who's got the leaner body and, you know, that she's really shallow or something. Yeah, but it adds to it. It's part of your character, like your level of manhood when you can stay clean from these things that you know are bad for you that are stripping your potential and slowing you down. That's why this video will hurt so much, not because I'm making you visualize getting cucked, but it's because you're getting cucked because of your own work rates. It's not luck. It's not like, oh yeah, you know, she's a low quality girl. No, 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 she's actually high quality as fuck. You said that yourself, right? You fucking pictured her out to be high quality. So don't just start saying, oh, but she's a hoe now. Like, like it's so easy for you to fucking cope now, isn't it? But you fucking pictured a high quality girl. She's so high quality that she wouldn't settle, which is a good thing. Of course she's going to go for the best man available.